Kater and I just got to the boat because we're doing like a date. I picked her up from school. She took a nap in the car. We had lunch. Well, she had lunch in the car. And now what are we going to do uh, now? Um, go to the cottage. I think we're going to hang out at the sandbar a little bit, play, burn some energy, because yeah. I'm pretty sure somebody might fall asleep on the way back up to the cottage. So. What's your left uh, surprise me. Thank you. Water warm or cold? Cold. I think it's warm. I think it's crazy. Keep going. Whoa, good save. Kate found a hole in the sandbar. And... She's been doing this for about 40 minutes. Oh, got you in the face. I'm sorry, too high. Yeah! Okay. She said it was too cold to swim in, and now? All right, here's your treasure. Got it pretty rough out actually, so we're just going slow. Laura just asked if I wanted to go for a ski and I was like, nah, it's too wavy. And I realized that that was a terrible excuse. So I'm gonna put everything all together and I just wanna go for a quick pull, like not cuts or anything. This will be my first ski since my surgery this winter and I just want to see if I can get up basically. That's that's my goal. Get up and then drop. Maybe a couple cuts out of this. Fifteen off. This will also be my first ski without a brace. Like that's my surgery, my first surgery like 10 years ago, so definitely gonna take me. Got it. Alright, get your life jacket on. Do you, you want Daddy to help? It's okay. We're gonna eat lunch right after that. Mm -hmm. First time I've skied without a knee brace in 10 years. First time I've skied since my second surgery. Got out first try. 